Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Sagittarius. This will not resonate with every Sagittarius that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Sagittarius, I highly suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Sagittarius. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Sagittarius and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Sagittarius, let's get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's tune in. All right, so let's see what's happening in October for my Sagittarians. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Sagittarius? What is going on in Sagittarius's love life in October? What does Sagittarius need to know about their love life, the energy surrounding them in love and romance? Tell me about it, Spirit. All right, there we go. Getting to know each other. Okay, Sagittarius, so there's someone you may meet in October that you're starting to dig, that you're starting to feel them out and see where it goes. And I feel that if there is someone you're talking to even right now that you're starting to understand, getting to better know, there's something being developed here. There's chemistry here. There, I don't know, this could be an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, but it's like you guys have good conversations, intellectual conversations, stimulating uh, conversations. This person isn't boring. This person isn't someone that, you know, makes you feel like, okay, get on with it, <laughs> you know, or just superficial. You guys are starting to have deep conversations, real conversations about where you see yourselves going in life, what you want in life, almost like philosophical, and it's just making you guys bond a lot more. Um, and it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there may be things you're there about to reveal to you, Sagittarius, that they haven't felt ready to do before so. I almost feel like some of you guys met this person in June or July. The letter J is sticking out to me, as in Jennifer, as in... Josh, first, middle, last, initial can mean something to someone. But I feel that conversations are happening that is making this whole conversation go deeper. Maybe even a lot more phone calls between the two of you if there is a long distance. Um, that you guys could talk to each other for hours, really. That's nice. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Someone could have braids in their hair or like to wear braids often, braid their own hair, I don't know. Um, just confirmation for someone out there. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Sagittarius in October. I'm just hearing you two are about to get real. So I don't know, something to talk about that is going to bring up serious conversations? Let's see. True love. Wow. I just got goosebumps. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. The more you learn about each other, the more you're revealing more of yourself to them, them of you, you guys are really starting to see how compatible you really are, how special you are in their life, and how you may feel they are in yours. 
this is true love and I feel Sagittarius. The more they hang out with you, the more they get to know you. They're starting to fall in love with you. And I feel this is reciprocated. I don't feel this is one-sided. I don't feel this is unrequited love. This is the true love that I feel both of you have been looking for, wanting in someone. And it's like both of you have this understanding of each other that goes outside of what you even understand. Like, I don't know, you finish each other's sentences. You know when the other person's about to call, about to text. I feel you guys have similar interests, hobbies that you really click on, beliefs, spiritual, um, political you guys just vibe so, so well. It feels like soulmate energy here. I'm almost picking up on Aquarius reading for some of you guys. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or if you have Aquarius in your chart, check out the Aquarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. Tell me more, spirit. The Six of Wands, nice. Leo energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. I mean, you guys feel so amazing when you're together. You want to hang out with each other. You want to take each other to events. You want to show each other off. I know this person is feeling like you are unlike anyone they've met. And they want to, you know, start bringing you around their friends, their family members, their inner circle, because you mean something to them. Um, they definitely talk about you very positively. I just met Sagittarius. I'm really feeling Sagittarius. We have something special here. Um, and their friends and family members are excited to meet you after hearing all the great things about you. Someone could be entertainment business, show business, um, music industry type I'm picking up on here. Let me pull out more cards and get them all out first before we you know, go deeper into this. So one second, Sagittarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so a lot of earth and a lot of fire here I'm picking up on. So some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, particularly a Virgo, or you could have Virgo strongly in your chart. If so check out the Virgo reading to see if there's messages for you there. But bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, I feel there could be someone who's a lot older in this connection, but someone is wise. Someone provides. Someone's a protector, uh, protector, excuse me. Someone is grown and I feel like you guys have been looking for that grown mature energy maybe in the past you dealt with some duds you dealt with people that were just players or wasting your time this person is the one you've been looking for and it has a strong masculine energy I'm picking up on this could be you but if this is something that you're seeing in this other person like you know they're serious you know that they're not people to waste your time you know that they are someone that could provide stability. They may be uh, a boss, a manager, someone that may have their own business, someone who takes care of their business, period. And that's what you really like about them is the maturity of this person. And this person likes to take action. This person definitely likes to call the shots. And if you're that vibe too, Sagittarius, I think you both are a power couple. You both don't like to sidestep. You don't like to play mind games. You don't like to not be direct. Both of you have been very direct with each other and each other's intentions. And I feel it's very clear now what this person wants. Maybe they've recently talked to you about their plans, their financial plans, their goals, and they're ambitious. And I think that's what really gets you excited about this person too, Sagittarius. Now with all the pentacles energy here, this could be someone you work with, a coworker. Um, this could also be a boss or a manager. Just putting that out there as well with all the pentacles and especially the emperor energy here. But I feel with the emperor recently in the, like last month, they've decided that they want you Sagittarius, that you are someone that they could see being with for a long time. And they have plans. 
And I think they're ready and looking to execute those plans with you. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Center of this is Six of Wands. Leo energy. I feel you guys are going to go to a lot of shows, a lot of concerts, a lot of parties, sporting events. Um, I do feel that you guys are going to be hanging out with each other and enjoying your time with one another. I feel you guys are going to get invited to go to a party with them, maybe a Halloween party as that is coming up at the end of the month. I do feel the purpose, though, of them inviting you to these events, these public events, is to show you off, is to introduce you to their friends and family members, or even if you've already been introduced, to let them know you're here to stay. Um, man, they feel like, I don't know, they're really, really proud to have you, Sagittarius. They're proud to have found you. They're proud to have you on their arm. Uh, I do feel like, with the Six of Wands, there's an energy here of you feeling good about the situation. They compliment you, uh, and they mean it too. This isn't just something to get in your pants. I could see that from all this here. And they're they're really going with the feelings they feel right now. And what I mean by that is that right now in this moment, they're happy to have you. They're excited when they see you call. They're excited when they see you text. And they want to spend more and more time with you. I do feel you're going to get a lot more invitations. You're going to get to see this person a lot more. Um, I wonder if you guys, if you are in a distance, if you're going to meet face-to-face -face this month for a very few amount of you. They're coming to see you this month. Um, but you're going to have a great time with each other. And part of that, what's enhancing this, more than challenging, I feel, is the Hermit card. Virgo energy, and this is all about revealing your innermost selves to each other, right? I feel like they have been waiting for the right time to express this to you, Sagittarius, their intentions, their plans, their feelings, and for some reason right now is the time to fully expose themselves, to fully reveal themselves to you. I feel someone's been single for a very long time and maybe just like getting into the dating life, starting to have hopes and daydreams and fantasies about this person is really starting to kind of like get someone a bit out of their comfort zone a little bit. Um, but this is exactly what someone needs. I don't know if it's you that's kind of still apprehensive or wary about the situation, but I think the more you start to hang out with them, the more they bring you out of your shell, the more you feel it's right between the two of you. I think like this was completely unexpected for some of you guys that you were going to bond this much with one another. And if it started off as friends or as coworkers, like the part that is really attracting you to is how well you get along or how much you guys are alike. Like you could have had similar stories, similar upbringings, um, again, similar interests, interests in movies, music. And the more you guys get deeper into each other's sights. The more you guys get to know each other, the more you find that you love about this person and that they love about you. For some reason, I just heard Starbucks. I don't know if someone lives by a Starbucks or works at Starbucks or you guys go to Starbucks quite a bit. Um, maybe you guys are going to meet at Starbucks or meet up soon on a date there. I don't know. It just came up for some reason. What's crowning this is the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So again, like I, I do feel they're gonna invite you to a lot of things. Maybe you already got those invites and the purpose is to introduce you, to get you closer to their friends. Maybe they wanna start meeting your friends, your family members, Sagittarius. Um, they talk a lot about you, that's for sure. And they brag about you, they do. They brag about getting to know you and having you as someone that is a person of interest because they do find you very physically attractive, but clearly it's beyond that as well. Um, you know, I wonder if someone is looking for a new job and someone's been trying to help someone find a new job, maybe in their industry that they can help them out in or be a partnership in. Maybe you guys met collaborating on a specific project or being on the same team at your job, at your career. Um, 
But with this Three of Pentacles crowning, like what I feel for the majority of you is that both of you can see this working. Both of you feel like you guys have what it takes to build something here, to grow something here. And this is the start to something very beautiful between the two of you. Um, I would definitely not second guess those invites. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with the Six of Wands. Um, I think you're going to like their family members and their friends. And maybe that's what someone's a little bit nervous about. Like, will I get along with their inner group? Um, because I do think someone here holds their friends or their family members very, very close to them. Even if they have a tight circle, that circle is tight as hell. And they really highly respect the opinions of their friends and family members. Like, what did you think? Did you like them? And not in a judgy way, um, but in a way that's kind of like, you know, what do you think? Do you guys dig this person as much as I dig them? And, you know, getting that insight, that's pretty normal. And they're going to say, hell yeah. I think they really do see, you know, everyone outside of this connection sees you guys as a great match, sees you guys as being very compatible and is rooting you guys on. Especially like someone's siblings really likes you or vice versa. Your siblings really like this person that you're talking to. And you're something to show off, Sagittarius. That's how they see it. What's rooting this is the Four of Wands. Aries energy, this is so beautiful. Um, okay, Four of Wands is always the 1111 card. Some of you could be seeing 1111 quite frequently, especially after meeting this person. Um, maybe December 11th is your birthday. But what I feel with this is that, yeah, there's potential for a partnership. There's the exact foundation of what both of you are looking for in a partner. Um, you guys, yeah, you need stability, you need structure, you need reliability, but you also need to feel free with this person. You need to feel like this person fully understands you and loves you for who you are, which I feel has the potential for that. I do feel, again, like if you guys are going to start spending more time at each other's houses, you'll feel more comfortable being at home, you know, bringing an overnight bag, doing laundry at their house, cooking at their house. I do feel like you guys feel very safe with each other, feel very at ease with one another. You don't have to hide so much. You don't have to worry about so much. You guys have this mutual understanding of trust. And I think it's just because you guys have gotten to know who each other are. There's no worries about wandering eyes, third parties. This is a mature situation. And we do have two fours here. So 444 four, four could be a number synchronicity someone's saying. 44, December 4th, December 14th, maybe November 24th is someone's birthday out there. Um, but yeah, I really do feel like you guys are starting to fall in love and this is building a foundation for a potential partnership to happen. I do feel you guys met for a reason and you guys complete each other and you're a match for the reason of building off of this and growing off of this. I feel Sagittarius that they had like a crush on you for a long time. Longer than when you guys even first started talking. Like if you met two years ago, they've liked you ever since two years ago. Even if you just recently started to, you know, date, talk. They've had their eye on you for a while and they still kind of can't believe sometimes that this is really happening between the two of you. How they see you, Sagittarius, how you may be in this connection is the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. They want to do what they can to enhance this, to work on this. I feel those conversations of what do I need to do? What can I do? They find you to be very supportive. They find you to be just as ambitious, as goal-oriented as they are. And you're very talented at a specific skill you're gifted with. So whether it's in sales, it's in arts and crafts, it's in production, it's in singing, music, acting, performing, whatever you guys do, specifically you have a gift at it and they see you as being someone that has talent and can take this somewhere, Sagittarius. They believe a lot in you. They believe in you, they believe in this connection and they see that this is something they want to work on. They want to continue to work at it. Because you're worth it, Sagittarius. With this Eight of Pentacles, you've helped them through some difficult times, especially if they've been going through, um, you know, some disappointments in their 
finances, their career, like something they really thought was going to move forward, didn't end up moving forward in. Um, you brighten up their day through your dedication, through showing your love and showing how much you care. It means a lot to them, Sagittarius. I don't know why I heard baking cookies, but that may mean something for you guys that you like to bake. You've baked them things before, you brought them their favorite foods or made them their favorite foods. Someone could be a very good cook or a very good baker. Um, but they also like the fact that like as much as you guys like to get out and go do things, like you're also down with chilling at home. And they like staying at your house. They like the way you decorate your house or they like where your house is located or that you live alone. So they have time to escape from, you know, their roommates or if they have to live with family or whatever the situation is. They love coming over to your house and they love staying the nights with you when they do have those weekends with you. Now, this is interesting. How you may say them or how they may be or feel in this connection here is the Five of Pentacles. This is very interesting and I don't feel this is the usual message of the Five of Pentacles with all the cards we have here. So for some of them, what I feel again, there could be going through recently financial disappointments or even looking for a job and having difficulty finding a job, even as driven as they are, um, they sometimes get down about certain things or they may be going through a lot of stressful things where they don't feel like they have the support they need outside of you. Maybe they don't have, you know, I don't know, there's something about you Sagittarius they feel a lot more comfortable with even if they have that tight circle. It's like they revealed things to you that they wouldn't reveal to their close family members, close friends. Um, but yeah, I do feel like someone, maybe what I was talking about is staying at your place. Maybe you've let them stay at your place until they find their own, but maybe by the end of this month, you're thinking, hey, let's just move in together. That has been a conversation. Others of you, and I feel that most of you, when things are starting to get so real, it starts to get a little bit scary for them because again, I don't feel like this is like anything they've had with anyone else before. Maybe they've had in the past people who've ghosted them, people who divorced them or broke up with them and took a lot. And so like, I feel just as much as they brought you out of your shell, Sagittarius, you're bringing them out of their shell in a different way. Where they may have thought they were going to be single for a long, long time, all of a sudden they met you and things are changing. And maybe they're afraid of that change and maybe they're afraid that it's not going to end well because of their certain high hopes in the past with other people. It left them a little bit devastated, but I don't think that's going to be the way with you, Sagittarius. And if there has been some sort of project you've been putting extra focus on, putting something in your work, they may feel a little bit like they miss you a bit if they, before October, they haven't seen you as much, maybe because you guys do live at a distance from each other. I do feel this missing of you, Sagittarius. That maybe they, October's the month to make for up for all the time you haven't gotten to see each other face to face as much. I kind of do want to clarify this Five of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and clarify it. Um, someone may be going through an injury too that they're healing from or a sickness, an illness. I hope they recover as fast as possible. That is a message for someone. Um, very, very few amount of you, maybe there is someone that may have a disability, um, that they find it, like they wonder sometimes if that ever was something you cared about or ever was a potential issue that they kind of struggle with, even though I don't think that would be the case. That is something that they worry about is their disability. Yeah. Five of cups twice. So five, 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 maybe a number you're seeing. October 5th, October 15th, um, October 25th may be important dates for you guys in love and romance or your birthday, December 5th, December 15th, November 25th. <sighs> yeah, I, I just, I'm, more than anything, I feel like they really miss you right now. I don't know if it's been a while since they've seen you or like, again, there's some things in your life you just had to take care of, settle with, maybe you traveled for work and they really, really, really miss you. 
that's what it feels more so. And every time where you guys do have to separate or do have to, you know, drop them off and they know they're not going to see you until next weekend, they, they, they miss you the whole time they're not near you. Which could potentially be a bit of a um, codependency, but not anything super toxic I'm seeing here. Double Taurus energy, by the way. Tell me more. Ten of Cups. And the Star card, whoa. Pisces energy, Aquarius energy. I know I was picking up on that Aquarius energy. They're really afraid this is too good to be true. They're really, really kind of, again, it's kind of shaken them a bit how much they've started to care about you, how much they started to fall in love with you. And they're really hoping that their daydreams of having this Ten of Cups with you, a relationship, a home life, a marriage, having kids with, is something that they're not just going above and beyond in their imagination with. But I kept on saying, unlike anything else, like that's what the star card always gives me in a reading and someone could have a star tattoo um but i feel with this energy like this is so unique this is so rare they almost feel like meeting you has been like a one of a lifetime opportunity here they haven't clicked with anyone the way they've clicked with you and they feel like there's so much more to have with you and they're hoping that this is all true but it scares them to think if this was all just a make-believe fantasy in their mind. And they hope they can, you know, I don't know, there's even something with them, maybe with what they're still trying to take off on if they do have their own business or they are trying to promote themselves in their career, they're hoping that they can provide for you, Sagittarius, in the long run. They have big dreams, big goals, big plans with you. And I do feel you two have been divinely guided to meet one another. I do feel this was written in the stars. I don't think this was a coincidence or mere accident that you two are in each other's lives. And maybe even Sagittarius, you're healing a part of themselves that felt so rejected, so disappointment and love. You were brought into their lives so they can experience love at its finest. All right, Sagittarius. To see the likely outcome of this reading, to see what's likely to happen and unfold. What else do you need to know about this person, about this connection? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to see the likely outcome of this situation. What else do you need to know about this person and this connection? And also pull up oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this. Anything else you need to be aware of, you need to know about, so you can have a better understanding if there are any other um, unanswered questions that you have. Join me for the extended reading, and if you'd like to join me, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Sagittarius, I really hope that this has resonated with you, that's giving you clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to whatever it is you're experiencing in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Sagittarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Sagittarius.